So in the previous session, we have discussed about the possible options in Home tab and now we are in Transform tab. So here you can see in Transform, we have uh, the transformation options which are available under table. So if you wanted to transform anything based on the table, the entire table, then you have to use this. And if you wanted to transform any column, we'll be using this. And if you wanted to transform the text column, we'll be using this option. If you wanted to transform the number column, we will be using this option. So let us try with the essential options here. So for example, I have the full address column here. You can see it. So if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to segregate uh, this full address into three parts, like for example, the or, um, that is a flat number, street name, like that. Okay. So this is what the uh, logic behind it. So I'm going to um, uh, segregate this. Okay. So let me just, this is the full address. So let me go to the split column. You can see here an option called split column is available here. So I'm going to click here split column. And once if you click split column, you can see various options here by delimiter. So what is the delimiter? Something which segregates uh, one word and another word. Okay, that's that is what I see delimiter. So it might be either a comma or it might be a space or it might be a colon or it might be a divided by symbol slash backslash forward slash whatever it may be so it should be a delimiter okay so in, uh, know one thing that you can split the column only if the column is having at least a space between every words sorry every yes every words if there is no space even a no space or no any other special characters then it will be difficult for us to uh, segregate okay so here you can see you have a delimiter in this case okay so i can click here delimiter so you can see a different uh, window has app uh, as appearing here as screen okay you can see here so you can just look at the first one select or enter the delimiter what are the possible delimiters which are there like a colon comma equal sign semicolon space and tab if you are not finding these delimiter in your column then you can click here custom and you can, for example, as I told, if you have space, sorry, if you have a slash symbol, then you can make it as a custom. But in my case, I have a comma. So I'm going to go ahead with a comma. And you can tell split at whether you have to split the leftmost delimiter or the rightmost delimiter or each occurrences of the delimiter. So because we have one Two, two commas okay so if you want to segregate every comma okay then you can go with the each occurrences if you wanted to segregate a uh, split based on the leftmost delimiter which means only you want to segregate this comma so what happens this 8 860 that is whatever the words or numbers which comes before the first comma will be splitted and whatever which comes after the uh, left comma or after the first comma that will not be splitted that is this particular word all these particular words will become the first one column and these complete thing will come as the second column okay right most in the sense uh, this comma okay it will consider this comma and this will become one column okay and this complete thing will become an another column but if you are going with each occurrence, so what happens? This will become one column. This will become one column, which means that we will get three columns by the end. So this is what uh, the split at is telling us. Okay. And the next one is if you wanted to go with any other uh, uh, options, like if you wanted to split into a column or if you wanted to split into the rows, and then you can go ahead with this. But we want to split it into a column, right? So we'll go with that if you have any code characters if some if some sen uh, sentences or some words or something which is uh, mentioned in the code then how you want to treat that okay so if you want to go with a code character then you can but in my case there is no code character so i'm just leaving it as such so let me just click ok and see what is happening if i click ok you can see that i have three columns here so first one is what the 
uh, that is the first comma based on the first comma it splitted the uh, uh, occurrence and then the second one and then the third one okay now you can see that i have this one which is this oh is the city and 44095 is the zip code or the pin code since i told i wanted to uh, split it based on the comma it only splits wherever the comma occurs but it's not considered the space now we will read this okay just click on click here go to the split column uh, click here by delimiter and then here you have a space automatically power bi is understanding based on whatever the character it has to split then click ok then you can see that you have a full address and the second one so anyhow you have to just go and rename it ok because you have these things it, it is showing like full address 1 and full address 2, full address 3. But it is not showing the exact thing. Like because it cannot uh, e easily write it by itself. So we have to write it. This is what. Even if you wanted to segregate this into a uh, space based on the space, you can do that. Okay. So here you can see I'm going to segregate this. Go to the split column by delimiter. You can see there is a um, space. And you can go ahead with the leftmost. Why I should go with the leftmost? Because you have space even after a word. So if you just give each occurrences, then what happens? This will be segregated as one column and this will be segregated as an another column. You will get three different columns here. But in my case, I don't want these three different columns. I just need only one column. That is this uh, room. That is sorry. This one door number should be segregated. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to go with the space and leftmost delimiter. And now I'm going to press OK. Let's see what's happening. So just click OK. So now what happens? Your door number is has become the leftmost. It is one and your full address is coming up here. OK, so if you wanted to rename this, OK, what you can do is what you can just go ahead, double click here and rename. This is one possibility for renaming. You can simply type door number. OK, and the second possibility is what you can click here you can click you can right click on the column and then you have an option called rename you can just tell the street name okay and what is the third possibility just click on the column and if you see that will be the rename option in the column ribbon okay so you can see that and you can simply go ahead and use that rename so you can rename that column as well this is what the uh, city name or whatever it may be and you can see all the changes which are happening here okay now i wanted to rework all these changes so simply can go ahead and undo these things which will be deleted 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 because already i have segregated all the street city straight and zip okay so this is how it works so in the column uh, the first thing is what detect data type so already power bi has its own capability to detect the data set data type once you import anything okay if you feel like it hasn't detected properly then you can go and click here detect data type it will properly detect it again okay so that is what this detect this data type again okay so the next one is what the rename which we have seen and the next one is what the replace values. So you can replace a value. For example, this is like find and replace in your in our Word or PowerPoint or Excel. We have seen, right? So this is how it will replace if you whatever the value if you want to find, you can find it. So if you want to find uh, all the OH place and if you want to replace with that, you can simply click. okay and this is fill if you want to fill some column if your column is not uh, available there if you want to fill the column down or up you can fill it probably this we will be using it if you are creating your own table if you want to create your own dummy 
dummy data okay so it will fill the data based on the uh, value which are already available in the cell or the column okay so pivot and unpivot and transpose all these things we will see in our next video because uh, that for that specifically we need a uh, data especially for that okay and if you wanted to move something left or right for example if i wanted to move the state uh, okay it's already it's good if i wanted to move the full address to the right most okay then you can click here you can see you have left you have right to the beginning and to the end if if you click here to the end it will move to the end okay so this is what and then if you want to format something for example if i want to change all these city into the uppercase character then you can make it into the uppercase character okay and if you want to make it into a capitalize each word then you can click here so this is all about the um that is string format formatting string formats all the string functions you can use if you want to trim trim if you want to clean the data okay that is if if you have a non printable character and if you want to clean that you can clean it if you want to add a prefix so where you'll be adding a prefix if you have the name and uh, for example if you have the name of the sales people if you want to add a prefix for them so you can just go ahead and add a prefix for them okay so click here add a prefix and you can tell what is the prefix you wanted to keep it okay mr or mrs so you can just add a prefix for them okay so this is possible with adding a prefix and adding a suffix so if you want to do any suffix for example if you want to tell that uh, any characters in the suffix then you can add it in the suffix so whatever you add it as a suffix that will add it that will be added in the end and if you want to add something in the prefix that will be added in the beginning so that is the concept here and this is about the basic um transformation whatever is possible with power bi the next one is the extract if you want to extract some character based on the length or some character based on the first character for example i'm just making it into a length see you can see that this particular person has a uh, four that is a length is four and this is length is seven so if you just close this and see here you can see one two three four four characters right so this is what if you wanted to <clears throat> uh, extract based on the length or based on the first character so if you want to extract based on the first character whichever was starts with r so if you just click on uh, okay two so you have to keep it uh, as a number you cannot uh, make it as a uh, string so click okay so you can see that uh, what are all the characters which has the character like two okay so if you wanted uh, to extract so it will return the specified number of characters from start of each value so it will specify and you can see the last character range between a particular character to the particular character that is you have to specify the number text before delimiter and text after delimiter and text between delimiter so this is what you are going to try the extract and tell me and you are going to try the parse and tell me so this is what the exercise for the today i have already in the previous video i have shared the link to download this data set okay you can download it you should try this extract parse because these are all simply click and see okay and you have to see how this convert to list is working okay you have to try replace and replace the values you have to try count rows what happening if you click on the count rows so these all are your exercise so just do this exercise and try to explore and i can show you what is the number column so these uh, see for example these things are related uh, these things are uh, uh, related to only the text column text column in the sense whatever is having this abc value okay abc data type that is a text data type or string data type we will call and these um things are only ap applicable to the number column which which is like 1 2 3 or it might be the decimal but it should be a number it should not be the string
okay so even if you try to click here and try to use the statistics only few things will work that is count values and count distinct value because anyhow it's just going to count it but if you click but if you click on uh, uh, the if you click on the number column anywhere like let me just go to the sales so that i'll get the number column so you can see some sales happened uh, okay the zip state revenue so i have the revenue and just i just wanted to know the sum of revenue here so you can simply click here sum so what happens it will return only the one value because you just wanted the sum okay because all these calculating the statistics that is uh, calculating the sum average minimum median whatever it may be which can be directly we can do it in the visualization in the report so we will not probably do this here okay this is just to stick check okay so you can convert this to a table so here you can see it is one two three okay this is a calculated sum it even this is say in the table became become a, a number so you can simply close this to come back to our original thing because we basically why it is showing as a single column is what because sum means it's an aggregate function right so it will aggregate the complete data complete value and it it will just give you only one record so it will show you as only one value so we will be doing all these things okay in our uh, uh, report so don't worry about all these things just you can see just apply and see what it is showing you okay so absolute value if you want to just, no, no, find the square of if you want to find the cube power squ square root exponent a logarithm a factorial so all these things which you can do it here for the number column so as well this is also your exercise so in today's exercise you have to try count rows because these are all very simple simply click and just observe what it is happening once if you click something what happens okay and try to click extract and also try to find the scientific calculation here and what is happening in the rounding off because these are all simple click and see okay so i am just uh, ending my video here this particular etl that is transform etl so in the next uh, probably in the next video we will see what is adding new what we can do it uh, uh, what is possible with add a column what are the various possible possibility to add new columns and uh, if we have completed that early then we can also see the view as well okay thank you take care please complete the exercise if you get any error if you get any doubt please leave your uh, doubt in the comment i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye